Welcome to this ProPlan video. In this video, we will show the three steps to follow to plan your orthognatic case with ProPlan CMF. The preparations done for this surgical planning are shown in the Prepare your orthognatic surgery in ProPlan video on our website. To start the planning, we are going to reposition the mandible and the maxilla. Since both jaws are already registered in the final occlusion, we will treat them as one and we will do all the adjustments to the maxilla and the mandible together. The software allows us to reposition the maxilla and the mandible by using translations and rotations in all planes, being sagittal, coronal and axial. The menu at the left side is set up in a very user-friendly way. After selecting the different parts that are to be moved, we can use the buttons to move both jaws in the direction we want. In case of rotations, the software allows you to choose a point of rotation that is either indicated by yourself, or that is a restricted cephalometric point or axis defined by two cephalometric points. Planning an orthognatic case typically consists of the following steps. First, we will align the dental midline with the facial midline. Next, we will correct the asymmetry by adjusting the cant and the yaw. Then, we will set the advancement or setback and work on the foreseen impaction or downgrafting. Finally, we will adjust the pitch in combination with the AP position and impaction. This workflow can of course vary depending on the situation. During the planning process, the cephalometric table can be called upon at any point to verify the position of the maxilla and the mandible after doing any movement. Based on the values shown, the plan can then be further fine-tuned. When we are happy with the final position, we can move on to the soft tissue simulation. To perform the soft tissue simulation, we select the preoperative soft tissue and all the bone fragments involved in the planning, after which we hit the Calculate button. We can now compare the preoperative and postoperative profile on a soft tissue and on a bony level. We can also run the simulation to see an animation of the movements from the preoperative to the postoperative situation. That concludes the orthognatic planning. This plan will be the input for generating your splints, which will be covered in another video. Thank you for watching. If you have any more questions, please feel free to contact us.